Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, how do you pray in times of great disaster or loss or grief, failure or brokenness? What do, what do your prayers sound like when you are shattered and your life is broken? Psalm 79 gives us an example of what that kind of prayer might be like. And, and I just gotta tell you, it's, it's dark. It's hopeful, but it's dark. Jerusalem has fallen to its enemies. The nation is conquered. People are dead. Captives are being relocated. It, it's a disaster on every possible level, personal, municipal, as a nation. And here's what the psalmist prays. Oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the heavens for food, the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a taunt to our neighbors, mocked and derided by those around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Skip it down to Psalm 79, verse 8. Do not remember against us our former iniquities. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation. For the glory of your name, deliver us and atone for our sins for your name's sake. Wow. So how should we pray in the midst of loss, brokenness, failure, defeat? How about honestly, descriptively? Just, just speak the heart uh, uh, and allow your hurt to be expressed to God. Uh, you heard in the psalm the brokenness and the sorrow and the, the horror of the situation. And then when it all seems lost, ask for mercy. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for God's grace. This disaster that happened was a direct result of the leaders and people's disobedience to God. It was his judgment on them for their repeated rebellion and just dismissal of the word of God and the law of God. And so they, they ask for deliverance. They ask for mercy. And then pray with faith. Pray with faith. The psalmist concludes this way. It sounds pretty dark to this point, but he says, verse 13, again, 79, 13, but we, your people, the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Doesn't seem to go with the rest of the psalm, does it? Doesn't seem to really fit with the desperation and the brokenness and the hurt that has been expressed. But even in disaster, God's redemption isn't over. You might not be able to see it in the moment, but if you're a follower of Jesus, you know it in your heart. All your dreams might be shattered. Your body might be broken. Your family might, you know, just be in pieces. But even in disaster, the redemption of God is still there and you can still proclaim it because that's what faith does. Even at our worst moment, we can still praise God for his goodness. So in your pain and your loss and your brokenness or despair, will you also join the psalmist in saying, we are your people, the sheep of your pasture. We will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. It's not easy, but it's the response that we have as followers of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So if your life is looking dark, if it's bleak right now, hold on to this psalm, relate to it, and trust God. Have a blessed day.